we have a nice little cooking stream. <clears throat> we are here in my kitchen now, and, uh, well, <clears throat> here you can see all the ingredients uh, that I have uh, prepared for today's cooking. <clears throat> Let me run right through it. First of all, uh, our uh, utensils, obviously a big pot, and then a cast iron pan. Then we have uh, some uh, Jungbullen gulasch <laughs> aus der Keule. This is a bull gulasch. <clears throat> and uh, then we have here uh, Hähnchengeschnetzeltes, so uh, chicken uh, parts. <clears throat> and uh, what are we cooking today? Well, we are cooking a gulasch, obviously. <laughs> so uh, then we have here some uh, tomato paste. We have some uh, cleared butter. <clears throat> then in this uh, tetra pack uh, we have some uh, wine. This is a cooking wine, red wine, uh, uh, lovely, lieblich, it's uh, sweet. Uh, then we have uh, some uh, <clears throat> vegetable uh, fond and some uh, chicken fond. And we have some shallots here. Yeah, and uh, that are basically the ingredients uh, for our uh, cooking today. So, and we have uh, our first viewers already here. Nice of you to drop by. <coughs> and, uh, well, we will uh, start by chopping up some onions. So. Let's first peel them. <clears throat> Hello, Bill. Bursay. Exciting. I had goulash uh, for the first time in Prague not long ago and it was delicious. Yeah, goulash is a, a very fine treat that uh, you can make your family. It's not very complicated to make. It's just, it just takes a long time. <clears throat> so, one more one. already made this uh, recipe as a video uh, uh, for a Christmas dinner some time ago but I thought uh, well I'm making goulash for myself so why don't I just stream it and here I go <coughs> and obviously while I'm live streaming you can ask questions and chat a little bit with me If you have any other cooking related questions or painting related. Oops. There she goes. Now we have a floor onion. But that's okay because uh, the outer shell is wasted, anyways. <laughs> I'm not cooking, obviously, this stuff here. This is just, for now, my trash bin. So why I'm using a uh, shallot instead of uh, big onions. Well, the secret is very, very interesting. Yesterday I was grocery shopping and they ran out of big onions. So that was 
the only option I had left. And here we are, cutting up tiny little shallots. That's what you get when you uh, shop at 8 o'clock in the evening. All the good stuff is gone. So, what's on your cooking board today? Oh, by the way, I have to show you guys uh, something. <clears throat> Today I painted something, a little ammo crate, but uh, unfortunately I had a little melter accident. So, time to chop up some onions. doesn't need to be super fine <clears throat> it gets cooked down for quite some time and so that should be enough Nobody feels like talking today. <coughs> That's okay. I guess a lot of you are watching on your phones.
<clears throat> Sorry there, my uh, cat just needed a little bit of attention. So what we're doing here is we're just uh, sweating the onion, onions a little bit. Not totally frying them through. So I hope the ventilation is not too loud. Please tell me if you can't understand me anymore. I think I have to open the window, otherwise my smoke detector will go off. Okay, that should be better. Butter. Make sure you cover the entire pan and then stop stirring. <clears throat> I hope you can still hear me over the sizzling. So what we are waiting for now is uh, the so-called Maillard reaction, that uh, all the uh, meat flavors will um, gather in a brown substance at the bottom of the, of the pan. Our goal is now to uh, well, create this um, Maillard reaction, then uh, turn the meat around and uh, doing the same again. And so we are generating flavor in the pan itself. Meat itself has uh, not much flavor for it going, but it's 
the flavor is in the cells and uh, we need to uh, bring it out to cooking. Okay, now nice and loose. Now we can flip. By the way, content warning for vegetarians and vegans, meat will be used. So the meat is uh, now losing uh, a lot of moisture, as you can see, <coughs> that uh, totally needs to evaporate before we can go on with the process. So, that takes a while. Hello to everyone who is new in the stream right now. <coughs> we are cooking something here. A little bit of goulash. Right now we can uh, start to hear the fizzling of the butter again. <coughs> Almost all of the moisture is gone. And a new Mayat reaction can take place. So right now the meat is uh, hard as a rock. But that will change because we are uh, cooking this for a very long time and that will make uh, the meat very tender. Mm -hmm. 
the reason I'm using uh, the cast iron pan instead of uh, the uh, normal pot is because the cast iron pan gets hotter and uh, produces the Maillard reaction in a better rate than a normal pot would do. But you could totally do this uh, in a normal pot if you don't have a cast iron pan or skillet. So nobody is uh, very chatty today, but it's really a pity. I want to talk to you guys. Don't you like cooking streams? I have several messages, more cooking videos. I thought, why not? Why not cooking stream? As you might can see here at the bottom of the pan, there is the good stuff. All the flavor of the meat collecting at the bottom of the pan. So, this looks good now on this end. So, let's go. The white one. So let's uh, transfer this to another pot. <clears throat> you see, this is what we're looking for. <clears throat> so we need now some fat.
Kaffee schon hier. See the uh, water from the meat itself is already deglazing the pan. Okay. If you don't know what deglazing means, uh, it's um, what we were talking about the uh, whole time, the uh, Maillard reaction uh, that is happening on the uh, bottom of the pan, and it will stick to the pan. But uh, to deglaze it, you just have to uh, add some uh, liquid to um, your pan or skillet um, or pot, and then uh, you scrape the bottom. Uh, what kind of liquid uh, doesn't really matter for deglazing purposes. Uh, um, it could be um, the water from fresh meat, or could be uh, water from vegetables, like onions, for example, that you uh, add to your meat. Or uh, we are uh, later deglazing with uh, some wine to uh, give it extra flavor. But sometimes you could uh, also use uh, some fond for this. Uh, it doesn't matter if uh, vegetable fond or meat fond. You also uh, can totally make your own fond. Last time I used a uh, self-made form, this time bought. Doesn't really matter. And if the strips of meat are a little bit too long, like this one here, <coughs> just cutting with a spatula. Don't do it with a metal uh, spatula, otherwise you would uh, cut your pen and uh, that wouldn't be good. Right, I think we're looking good so far here, on this end. Making the meat chunks a little bit more user-friendly. Uh, this one won't cut so easy. Oh, yeah. And still no one is chatting with me. I'm lonely, please chat with me. Talk to me. So, um, now we will finalize uh, this with some red wine. Oh, you could smell this. Lovely. So, we are uh, totally cleaning off now the uh, bottom of the pan, getting all the flavors out. And 
then we are transferring this to this spot. At this point, uh, we are adding quite amount of uh, tomato paste to this. Damn it! I spritzed my shirt. We stir it in, and the tomato paste gives us now new flavors uh, that uh, can create a Maillard reaction at the bottom that we can then deglaze. The uh, tomato paste is also um, the main ingredient for the uh, brownness of the uh, sauce in the end. <coughs> so also uh, we will now use uh, some uh, paprika. We have um, uh, another one. There we go. Uh, there are basically three kinds of paprika you can use. It's uh, paprika edelsüß. It's uh, the sweet paprika. Then uh, we have uh, rosenscharf. So uh, it's a very uh, sharp variant that uh, we can do a little bit. I don't like it too sharp, so not too much. But from the sweet paprika, we can use a lot. Like that. So, uh, if you don't want a, a goulash but a curry, you can uh, just go for curry powder. So, you see here at the bottom, this is what we are looking for. browning. Now the good part starts. Some more wine. So just add some wine and scrape the bottom of the pot so we can get those nice flavors into our goulash. We wait until the uh, red wine is evaporated and uh, a new layer has built itself. And then we can add some more. Um, you don't have to use red wine for this. Uh, you can use white wine, you can use uh, beer, you can use uh, meat. Uh, in the end it will uh, also determine the uh, final flavor of the goulash. Um, so uh, you should experiment with different alcohols. And uh, if you are Muslim and uh, you don't uh, want to use alcohol at all, uh, you can totally deglaze just with a uh, fond. It will diff, uh, give totally a different uh, flavor. Or you could uh, use juice for uh, deglazing. It's also an option. So in the end, wine is just uh, berry juice, fermented, so just use some kind of berry juice. It's totally up to you. And you see, we can clear out the bottom of the pan again. Hello to everyone who has joined the stream recently. We are cooking some goulash today.
Oh, it's still good. To lose the stuff on the bottom. We have a super chat here for 10 euro and 30 cents. I can't really see. Uh, <coughs> who gave it to me right now? But uh, oh, damn it! Damn it! I I totally misclicked. I haven't seen the chat the whole time. Oh no 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 no! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm such an idiot. <clears throat> Let me get back here. For first of all, the ten uh, ten dollars from uh, Great Rain. Enjoy your meal and may this help you continue to do what we all enjoy. Thank you very much for that. <clears throat> and uh, from uh, Bill Bercy, uh, what do you have for Christmas dinner? Well, uh, goulash is a good alternative for Christmas dinner, but uh, it's uh, it's always uh, something different. We don't have a traditional dinner. Uh, from uh, uh, Francis uh, Francisek uh, Chudaki, what are you cooking? It's a goulash. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, from Gregory Dillon, uh, hi, can't say in the middle of uh, putting up shelves for minis. Hope you enjoy dinner. Thank you. Uh, Servus aus uh, Özyland. <lacht> Hallo. Uh, wie lange machst du schon Videos? Uh, oh, ungefähr zwölf Jahre von Olong John. <lacht> Wann kommt wieder ein deutsches Video? Uh, probably uh, wahrscheinlich nie. Ich, mein Channel ist halt auf Englisch. Sorry. Um, from uh, Reds Cozy Games. Uh, loving the stream. Actually, your videos. Uh, have been relaxing uh, me for many years. I think you are my longest subscription. Uh, I've never played a game of Warhammer or Painted, but uh, your videos are so relaxing. That's glad to hear. Thank you very much. And then uh, from uh, Grey Terrain, uh, what's up? Uh, what is everybody uh, up to today? And uh, I've been playing Minecraft. Ah, and from Rose and Gulosh goes. Uh, Equally well with uh, rice, potatoes, and pasta. <coughs> and from uh, Great Terrain, don't sweat it, it's all slow. Yeah, I, I totally had. Ch uh, and I was checking the chat all the time. Uh, the, the first uh, message was always there, but no other message. It was no one talking to me, that's strange. Thank you, Mehmet uh, Genishi. Some more deglazing. We are almost half a liter in. And deglazing the bottom here. Uh, 
anybody uh, painting along while we are cooking here? And I hope uh, the audio quality is uh, good enough with the sizzling and the uh, uh, the whole ventilation shebang in the background. So, oh, and uh, I guess we're we're almost done with the uh, with the goulash. Well, almost. Um, this is the hard part over now. Um, now we come uh, uh, starts the um, very tedious process of long, 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 long waiting. Because um, <coughs> I will uh, deglaze this now here uh, for the next five minutes again and uh, then I will uh, add the fond and then it needs to cook on low heat for at least two hours that's the absolute minimum but uh, a really good goulash cooks for six to ten hours Uh, what time is it here? Uh, we are at, uh, let me check, uh, 23.49, so uh, 10 minutes before midnight. So I have to uh, do these live streams at uh, this uh, ungodly hours because uh, well my main audience is uh, American and uh, well they are awake at this, this time uh, from red green zero uh, nine uh, hey Please see the doing uh, gush losh, yes, a Halloween joke, <laughs> uh, from uh, uh, Great Rand. Uh, you like to play music as you cook, uh, it's relaxing to cook my phone to the Bluetooth speaker and blast some uh, beats as I simmer the food. I've been uh, listening to Black Sabbath lately. Uh, well, uh, normally I am uh, listening to uh, some uh, YouTube videos in the background uh, while I'm cooking. Okay. And now let's uh, grab some of the fork for the last deglazing. Go. Good, good, good. Yeah, USA time, 5.53, okay. So, let's give this a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. Mm. Okay. Cooking's done. Roast. Four number one. Now the chicken for. <clears throat> yeah, that should give the whole thing even more flavor. 
now vegetable and chicken flavor. Sure to clean the bottom properly and then let it simmer on one. Well guys, if you have any last questions, uh, we are at uh, 48 minutes and uh, 35 seconds now in the stream. <coughs> the cooking is done. Half a package of red wine left. What? But the onions. Uh, I have put the onions already in. They are in there for, for a long time. <laughs> you remember I uh, transferred uh, the first batch of meat into uh, this pot and then uh, I emptied here the, the onion bowl into uh, the pot. I've never had this food. What? You never had goulash? You should totally do this. As you can see, it uh, takes 50 minutes of uh, time for cooking, and then you're done. Just let it simmer for hours, and uh, you're good to go. So, thank you everyone uh, for uh, watching the stream, and sorry that I missed the chat the whole time. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, no, I never had uh, frog legs in my life, and uh, I will probably not have frog legs in my life later. That's not something I'm fancy. No escargot, so uh, snails I will uh, also not uh, eat, and eel, no. You see, uh, as good as it might taste, uh, the... Um, uh, how, how would you uh, say that? In English, um, the equal factor. <laughs> if you uh, are not, uh, I can't say it in English. Sorry. My ma caught a gator once fishing. I want to try gator. Yeah. Uh, I heard lately uh, there's a burger restaurant in New York. I guess. Who uh, serves uh, gator meat? Sounds definitely interesting. <coughs> yeah, guys, uh, if you have any last questions, uh, ask them now. Uh, well, I guess uh, that's the stream for today. Thanks again for uh, the super chat and. Uh, for everyone uh, who's chatting with me here in the last few minutes. <laughs> yeah. I will uh, close the stream in 30 seconds. Thanks, uh, Great Torrent. Ah, uh, from uh, Aino Yabu, I like Gator more than Ostrich. Uh, cheers for the cozy stream, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, remember, uh, if you are painting uh, uh, an ammo crate, uh, be careful with your melters. <laughs> no problem. Uh, it seems only fair to contribute uh, for the years of entertainment. Yeah, uh, I'm glad to uh, serve you guys. So, uh, I wish you all a happy uh, ev evening and uh, day and uh, whatever time zone you are at, and uh, have a nice meal. Bye, you Alexandra. <laughs>